Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. I'm here today to do, well, it's one of two things. It's either unboxing number one, the first video of unboxings, which will replace the Q&A now that the Q&A is over and I've answered all the questions and there are no more questions. So maybe on Monday I can do unboxings. Or the other thing is this could serve as an emergency backup video in case something goes bad or I don't have time or I don't have the energy. So, it's, this is one of those two things, either the first unboxing video or a backup video. We are doing an unboxing, cool, but since unboxing isn't very exciting to me, I'm combining it with an 8's 8. Yes, an 8's 8. Lots of people do top 10 lists, I only do 8, because my name is Nate, or Nate short for Nathan, and 8 rhymes with Nate, so we're doing a top 8. It's also a better challenge, it's also either easier or maybe a better challenge, because... We're doing eight instead of ten. I don't know if it's a bigger challenge or it's easier. Did you guess what this uh, this video is unboxing? You guessed it. It's Transformers. We got Transformers back over here. For those who don't know, Transformers was a one of those kid shows that basically just advertised toys from our youth. I think 1984, 1985, somewhere in there. Um, and I loved it. I was just the right age for robots that turned into vehicles and ran around doing cool stuff, as allowed by the animation, which was kind of always sort of cheap and dicey, but that's cool. Over here next to me, I have some of the toys. These are from, I don't know what, these are from around 2014, according to the packaging. So, I guess 30th anniversary toys. But they're my three favorites here. We've got uh, Rhinox. He's a engineer scientist type that turns into rhinoceros. And that's, he was from Beast Wars, which was a sequel to Transformers, where everybody turned into animals instead of turning into vehicles. Some of them might have turned into vehicles. It's been a long time since I watched it. And that was the last cartoon I watched before I kind of outgrew it, so then I outgrew it. Over here we got Jetfire, he's a scientist. We have two copies of Jetfire over here. Um, he's a scientist that turns into a airplane, and that's cool. And down here, let's see, this is Springer, he was from the movie. He is a triple changer, which means he has two vehicles. Look at that. He turns into a car and a helicopter. That's pretty cool. And he was cool in the movie. Of course, Optimus was the coolest in the movie, but, well, they took care of that, didn't they? Hmm. But Springer was cool in the movie, so I liked him. So that's my top three Transformers to this day when I'm a man and nearly 50. Those are my three favorite Transformers. But we're doing an 8 8 We're doing an 8 8 and an unboxing from the Transformers deck building game. Recently, my friends went to, what do you call that thing, Gen Con, and bought me some Transformers expansions. I paid them back. I paid them back for it, so they're mine. And now we've got Transformers expansions from Gen Con. Hum. Well, all right then, here we go. Honorable mentions. There are a couple of honorable mentions because they're from an expansion that hasn't come out yet. The expansions are coming out in the wrong order because one of them's trapped on a boat, apparently. So, we don't know. I guess boat shipping is still messed up as of when I'm recording this. I don't know if it's still messed up. When you're watching this, it probably is. Who knows? Um, where was I? Okay. The honorable mentions. Um, this is a, this is a core right here. This is a Transformers deck building game core. You build your deck as you go. You wander around. You wander around on a map made up of cards, and you flip the cards over, and maybe it's a bad guy, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a location, maybe it's some sort of trick or piece of equipment, or who knows. And then you can buy them and put them in your deck if you want. This is the Autobot starter. There's a Decepticon core starter box set, too. That one's trapped on the boat. So, oh, did I even did I forget to even mention what we're doing in Nate's 8 4? Oh, my goodness gracious. I need a script real bad. Nate's 8 is going to be, of course, my 10 favorite Transformers, my 8 favorite Transformers, thank you, from from the game. 8 favorite playable Transformer characters from the game. You play as one of the Transformers and you run around and make friends and defeat enemies and so forth and so on. Um, you can kind of see it here on the back of the box where they're kind of, you know, you got little standees there and you run around on the cards. Anyway. It's been almost five minutes and we haven't unboxed anything. So, here we go. Nate's eight. Eight favorite cards, eight favorite characters that you can play in the Transformers deck building game. Number eight is from... Oh, honorable mention. Sorry. 
Honorable mentions. Number one, it's Thundercracker. He turns into a big blue jet, and that was really cool when I was a little kid. He's in the Decepticon core set, but he is not. But that thing is trapped on a boat somewhere. So, good job, Thundercracker. He's evil, but he's a big blue jet. That's cool. Um, speaking of things that were cool when I... When I was little, here's Astro Train. This one's Astro Train. He is also a triple changer. He transforms into a space shuttle and a train. Let me tell you, when you're a little kid, there's nothing cooler than a robot that can turn into a space shuttle and a train. Are you kidding me? That's the coolest. But he's in the bonus whatever promo pack that comes with the Decepticon core set. So he ain't coming. I mean, he's coming, but he's on a boat somewhere. So, those two are honorable mentions, runners-up that aren't on the Nate's 8 list, so we're not going to talk about them. Let's uh, unbox the, um, the core set, because number 8 comes from the core set. And that is... Here are the cute little standees. They're super cute. This is unpunched. Let's see here. I mean, there's cards and there's... Lots of cards in here. I don't know what we're looking at here. Okay, and there's the promo bonus pack. And here's some pink cubes. They're supposed to represent Energon, the source of energy for the uh, for the Transformers that they're always fighting over and trying to steal and whatnot. Really just ridiculous. Just try and get along, you guys. Um, number eight is Ratchet. Here we go. Rip out the... Rip out the character cards here and pull out Ratchet. Ratchet's really cool. He's a medic. Here he is. He's an ambulance, and then you can flip him over. I think you have to pay one of those Energon cubes that I just showed you to uh, turn him into a robot. And here he is. Looks like he can heal others. And he can heal damage off others. And... That's not very helpful in solo mode, but, yeah, the game does have solo mode, but that's fine because I'll still play him because he's number eight on Nate's eight. Um, the rule book, by the way, hmm, there's something ironic about this rule book cover. You'll know, I'll tell you about it soon enough, but anyway, um... The rule book's a little ugly, but it takes like two reads to get it, maybe. Um, I checked, there's no Watch It Played. There's no Rodney Smith Watch It Played, which this game would greatly benefit from because the rule book's highly iffy. Let's go. And this promo pack they bought back for me. Promos. Ooh. And this promo pack they bought back from me is my number seven character, which is a lion which is my middle name, of course. And quite frankly, if it were up to me, it would be my last name. And it's also my stage name. So lion is, lions are really important to me. And if I can get this promo pack open, which I'm terrible at, there he is. Here's Razor Claw. Let's show you the lion side first. There he is, he's a lion. Hi, I'm a lion. He's a Decepticon, so he's a bad guy, but that's fine, I don't. I don't mind, and there he is in robot mode. Robot. Robot mode. Razor Claw. He was a combiner at some point. Doesn't really say anything. Combiners, of course, are robots that merge together into a giant robot, and those are cool. And that is number seven. Giant Lion. And that is the Transformers bonus pack. Anywho, let's see here. Number six, back to the corset. I shouldn't have put the lid back on it because we're back already. Somebody else in the corset is number six. Could have probably prepared this and had it a little more ready, but I guess that's the point of the unboxing is to open the box. So enjoy unboxing with me as we try and find number six. Number six is a an engineer and kind of a mad scientist and we love him. I had his toy. We didn't have very many toys. We were little kids. We had plenty of toys. We had all kinds of toys everywhere. So don't worry about. Don't worry about that. And but my little brother took a hammer to it. My littlest brother took a hammer to it. That's okay. 
He's still one of my all-time favorites, and that is Wheeljack. He's kind of this engineer, mad scientist guy, and he's pretty cool. And here he is being a cool car, and then you flip him over, and he's over here. And it looks like, yes, he, he works with technology cards, gear and gizmo and whatnot. So that's cool. That's uh, very thematic for him. And so that's Wheeljack. He's one of my favorites. And he is number six. Number five is from the first expansion. First expansion. Here we go. First expansion is called Infiltration Protocol. It includes a... It includes a... Some sort of alternate mode where you're trying to infiltrate something or other. Possibly. I don't know. It tricks up the game a little bit beyond just... Uh, beyond just collecting cards and beating the bad guys, so that's fun. I don't know for sure yet, because it's because I'm unboxing it for the first time. I'm sure there's a... I'm sure there is a... Yes, there's a rule book. It shows how to include cards for different modes. Because there are different modes, obviously, you can play Autobots, you can play Decepticons, you can play Cooperative, you can play Competitive, you can play, you know, here's some more standees for all your guys. But my number six guy, here we go, five, pardon me, Wheeljack was six, is right here on the front, he is Springer. No, he's not Springer. Sorry, man. That's wishful thinking. I'm having a wonderful time trying to unbox this, so let's vamp while I'm trying to unbox. Transformers, they are More Than Meets the Eye. More Than Meets the Eye is the name of a comic that I'm actually reading right now, and it's really good. It's about a group of Transformers, not necessarily at war with the Decepticons, but in fact they are out amongst the stars in their spaceship trying to find their ancient ancestors and see where we're going, see where they've been, see maybe if the... Uh, if their ancestors can maybe help them out a little bit and make their society a little better. That's cool. Here's Perceptor. Perceptor is number seven, six, five, five. Number five is Perceptor. Oh, we're halfway through already. He is a scientist. And what does he transform into? I can't remember if he started in the cartoon or if it was a movie or something. The old 1985, six movie. But he transforms into a microscope. Not a super useful alternate form. Not going to be going much of anywhere with it. I'm sure it's great for science, but he ain't going much of anywhere with it. So, good job, buddy. You're still awesome, because science. That's generally, I think, I think that's what you're going to find for most of these guys. Is that most of them that I like are not specifically combatants. They're here for something else, like science or something. Or engineering. I guess Springer generally was. Springer right here. Certainly one of my all-time favorites. I think probably Springer's second-ish. I think Springer's maybe second and Jetfire's number one. Back to this promo. Back to this promo to find Snarl. Snarl's a dinosaur. He's one of the Dinobots. Nothing cooler than transforming into a dinosaur when you're a little kid. I mean... A lot of them are really cool, and that's the whole point. And Snarl turns into a Stegosaurus, which I think we all know is awesome because it reminds me, the shape of a Stegosaurus reminds me of a taco. Tacos are great. But I don't need to tell you that. Tacos are fantastic. And transforming into a into a dinosaur that's in the shape of a taco is awesome. Tacosaurus. Tacosaurus. Put that right there because we've seen both of the cards out of that promo pack. Where are we now? The Dinobots expansion. In fact, the Dinobots got a whole expansion all for themselves, which has all the Dinobots in it except Snarl, who's in the promo pack. Shouldn't put things in promos. Don't make promos and put characters into the promos. People love those characters and don't want to have to jump through hoops to get promo packs and go to and send their friends to Gen Con and have to pan back. 
can't remember where I was putting the trash. I think I was putting it in here. Anyway, Dinobots. I don't know what's going on in this one besides just Dinobots. I assume it's just Dino Dinobots. And, yeah, I don't see any rules, obvious rules, expansions like the Rising Darkness Infiltration Protocol. What was that thing called? Infiltration Protocol, yeah. Where you have to infiltrate. But here's a cool rule book. Look at that thing. It's cool. There's your dinosaur. And there's a giant spaceship. We're doing awesome. I don't know which thing is cooler to transform into. A giant spaceship or a dinosaur. It's a close call. And my number three is here and he's big. It's Devastator. Devastator is six guys who have individual, you know, transform into vehicles. Uh, construction equipment in this case, but they can also transform together into one enormous guy. And looks like, according to this, it costs a lot of energon to maintain this maintain this uh, giant robot form. So you're gonna have to have a lot of energon. Anyway, and they're construction cons. They construct things. So that's also cool non-combatant type of thing. And there he is. Even his thing is enormous. His uh, standee is enormous compared to the other standees. Wow. It's cool. Let's see. And I think that's it for Dinobots. Yep. My friend's got me the whole Dinobot expansion. And the only thing I want out of that Dinobot expansion is the giant, the giant construction robot. And, of course, the promo pack. Don't forget the promo pack. Number two. Number two is back to the core set. And he is Optimus Prime. Always one of the coolest. Truck. Number one, trucks are cool. Number two, he was an awesome leader. He has this, he has this truck. I don't know where his engine is. I guess he's a robot. I guess he's a robot. The point is, I don't know where his engine is because... The truck is completely flat on the, on the, you know, on its face. I don't, so I don't know where the engine is. Anyway, and there he is. He's Optimus Prime. He's awesome. He was always fantastic. My favorite Optimus Prime, which I should have gotten down, is the yellow fire truck. Yeah. That's my favorite version of Optimus Prime, the yellow fire truck. Nowadays, I think he's probably almost always going to be a truck because that's what people who are kids during the 1980s, the original series, remember, and of course those kids are now adults and have expendable cash. Fun fact, the rule book here has Optimus Prime, my number two, Ratchet, my number seven, and Wheeljack, my number, I don't remember where he was, six, on the cover, and nobody else. So only the popular characters get to be on the cover of the rule book. Cool. And last but not least, number one, did you already guess? I don't know how you could have guessed. He is an infiltration protocol wherever I left that. I accidentally spoiled him earlier. But I've been I've been foreshadowing it the whole time, and it is Springer. What's going on with Springer though? Here's his robot side of his card, but if you flip it over, it's robot side again. What's going on? Doesn't he transform? I know he has transformed. I know he transforms. What's going on here? Here they are. He gets a whole separate mode. Here a uh, card. Well, there is helicopter mode, and there's car mode. So that's going to be exciting to have a triple changer in the game. Also, a triple changer was Astro Train, but he's not out yet. He should have been. And that's Transformers. That is Transformers. Okay, cool. We've unboxed it. I haven't played it. We can put this over here in Dino Box. And I guess there was also a promo pack here. There was also a promo pack here. But none of my favorite characters came out of it. Um, one of the very distant runners-up, both two of the very distant runners-up were in here. But you're not in the top eight, so you don't get to be there. That's cool. And there's another one, Six Shot. Six Shot, just FYI, not on the list. But he is a robot with six different alternate, with six different forms. Instead of three for Triple Changer. Okay, that's it. That's unboxing. That is my time. I've been going for almost 20 minutes. That is enough rambling. This could be a ramble. This could be a ramble day. I will um, probably keep unboxing things now that the Q&A is over, or once the Q&A is over, whichever. And so enjoy. 
plastic, plastic Ziploc bag to throw pieces into. And uh, thanks, everybody. Take care.